So I just uh, already got a shock and saw it already something on this Sun Ultra 5 got defect. I only wanted to test this other SCSI drive that didn't work on this USB adapter and uh, didn't start anymore. I don't know what it was but I took all this, uh, you see there in the corner are those PCI cards and apparently now it comes up again to document all this power on safety slides. Uh, let me reboot this again by the way. We still have the host ID, this is interesting, so I still have to... Uh, there is an VRAM, obviously very dark right now. Right now the battery is not connected anymore, but um, I did not drill through to disconnect this built-in battery. I still have to do this to avoid possible future leakage and also more than average power drains of recharging this built-in battery. Of course, we still have the host ID there, having the battery disconnected. And uh, to document, so the power and safe test lights are all blinking in a row, and maybe three times so. Because when it didn't come up a minute ago, yeah, so three times, it didn't do this, it only did it two times a minute ago. Okay, so I have to carefully install the PCI cards again and hope it doesn't happen again. What a shock in the evening here. Welcome everyone to an unexpected update. So last night, when the spark didn't turn on again, uh, you saw in the other video I had this battery and when I disconnected the battery last night I really was so tired or something that I really plugged in here plus and minus reversed. That was of course not very good for the NVRAM. And uh, let's see if it works again now. I already reset the NVRAM so I think the NVRAM survived. However the NVRAM content was invalid. So you definitely do not want to try this at home. So having the NVRAM plugged in reversed on the Spark Station 2 destroyed it. Either by reversing the power or putting the power on the wrong pins. Thanks God reversing the battery here on my soldered battery joints there did not destroy it permanently. Um, but I really need to be more careful especially when I'm tired and overworked at night. That would have been really bad to destroy another NVRAM. And the NVRAM content came out invalid obviously because the security bits were set. It wanted a random password. And even without NVRAM, apparently the Ultra 5 did not boot at all. If I remember that correctly, I don't really want to tr mess around more and destroy the NVRAM by bad luck now. So I swapped in an NVRAM from another Spark. Obviously the NVRAM content didn't match for this Spark, but it was enough to boot. And then while it was running totally dangerously, I swapped in this NVRAM and then programmed it and disabled the password. As I then was logged into the open firmware prompt already. So now um, another tip for you that I usually try to follow is only store and put away working machines. And this is why I was surprised so much last night that it didn't came up. Maybe something was a little bit loose with the PCI cards or something that, um, that it didn't boot fully. So what I want now to really put it away because actually I only wanted to do this in a month or two and with an SSD. However, as I now have taken out the PCI cards, I wanted to slightly change it um, because the USB card was really huge and I had another USB card that of course has less ports but I don't really need so many ports and this card is much smaller so this fits much nicer here with the power supply cables and I can place both the SCSI and serial ATA card on this side to have a slightly nicer setup and while at it I will also um, as we have some leftover hard drives here, I will install a classic rotating storage, not an SSD, as I don't use this so often and this will still be a nice upgrade, as we can make better use of this 18 GB um, Ultra SCSI drive in another machine that actually comes with SCSI. As I mentioned, this machine does come with a cheap IDE bus and such, so 
let's quickly reassemble all this nicely and test it and then put it away for the next days. Only leaves this nice adapter card in there for external drives for testing and such. And this is a promise Serial ATA cards that we tested the other day. Maybe we quickly test if this starts. So this indeed doesn't boot anymore. Just like the, I had the other day, I didn't make this up. Hmm. Why does it not like this Prums card anymore? Now it works again. Hmm. I wonder if this is a slightly defective promise card that I got from eBay. Guess I need to give this promise card some more testing then. Some longer time burn in testing. So this two and a half to three and a half inch adapter plate goes in on this hard drive carrier sheet. Nothing better than adapters for adapters and carriers and carriers. So that is the finished carrier situation. And obviously we need then a dongle for the power supply because as you've seen in our dongle for everything video we love dongles and adapters not only on Apple but also on any other PC situation. So old fashioned power here and then obviously this serial ATA cable runs much nicer through the machine than this huge old fashioned parallel SCSI cables. Okay, still comes up. Whatever the deal is with this. Oh, flunky PCI card things there. Okay, that's it for the small update today. Now we could rsync the whole system over from the SCSI to the more compact serial ATA drive, but I will save this for another day. As the system has some UDF irritations and it's a little bit old by now anyway, I will build a new T2 release for Spark 64 and install this another week. I also ended up swapping in the original NEC based USB card in there because the other smaller ALI card gave some strange errors and I thought before I waste too much time with whatever warning errors hiccup that is I rather stick with a proven NEC card that worked already before. So that's it for today. Some notes here and there also that the NVRAM survived with the battery polarity swept overnight and um, yeah but don't try this at home and I should really be more careful when I'm falling asleep at night here with uh, filming something for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe and I hope to see you soon.